This We Are campaign rocks. I want to marry the We Are campaign. I really do. You know, this has been a real roller coaster, this fight against this amendment. And there are days I've been low. And, okay, I hate most of you. I'm older than most of you here. You didn't have to laugh. But this group has inspired me. They have picked me up on days when I was low. So I want to thank the We Are campaign. You guys are just awesome. So, we are the people. And we the people say no to Amendment 1. What do we say? No! What do we say? No! What do we say? No! I was asked to talk about how this amendment might affect people living with HIV AIDS. That is something very important to me. It's what I spend my life's work doing. It's very important to you people here today. We all know you guys are the experts on what Amendment 1 could do. It could affect, it could do away with domestic partnerships, uh, d uh, help domestic partner benefits. And we all know insurance is important. It's important to all of us. It's particularly important if you're managing a chronic disease like HIV AIDS. It's important if you're managing any disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever. People could lose their health benefits. Children could lose their health benefits. Are we gonna let that happen? No. no! Here's the other piece that really, really concerns me about this amendment and people living with HIV. This is an issue of stigma. There's an, an enormous stigma still today, in 2012, around living with HIV AIDS. This amendment writes stigma into our Constitution. Not just stigma against people living with HIV, but people that might be different. It enshrines discrimination. And I worry about what it says to our LGBT youth. That it says, you're less than. You're not equal to. Are we gonna let them do that? No! no. Again, here's the thing, I'm preaching to the choir. Everybody that's gonna speak today is preaching to the choir. We need the choir to sing. We need you to talk to everybody from now until May 8th. When you're in line at the grocery store, you're sitting by somebody at the movies, waiting to get gas, have those conversations. We are this close to making history, history in North Carolina, to turn back this amendment. But it's gonna take every one of us having these conversations every day. Talk to your blue in the face, but keep talking, keep talking. The Russian poet Yevgensko once said, justice is like a train in that it is nearly always late. This train has left the station and we are on it. We're gonna make it. Do everything you can do in the next 10 days. Are we gonna do it? Yes! yes. How are we gonna vote? No! Thank you!